hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be filming a video that one of you guys requested so if any of you other anybody else has any requests you can just leave it in the comments and i'll be sure to film it for you today i'm going to be talking about how i set my prices as a beginner nail tech um i started doing nails back in september and it's currently february so september october november december january february so it's been six months officially that's really exciting i didn't even know it had been that long but I do still consider myself an, a beginner. It actually flew by super quick. I didn't realize it had been six months until I just counted that. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of you guys for you guys of the first client I took for money. Okay, guys, I found it. It was actually October sixth, so um, not February, but I mean not September, but close, and it's March now, so still just about six months I've been taking clients for like a profit. Um, before that, I was just um, like taking models or doing it on friends for free and stuff like that, but October is around the time when I actually started to uh, do this for real. I quit my job in October, and I just started really booking my clients, and I want you guys to know before I get started in the video if you are a beginner nail tech it is important to know that to get to where you want you're gonna have to be prepared to like lower your standards lower your lifestyle i quit eating out i quit going to movies no like anything anything extra i did not do for a long time and i'm still not really comfortable i'm not where i want to be in my um you know with what i make a week or whatever but just with my bills and everything and you also have to think about that the money you're getting in you have to reorder your supply so a lot more often than i thought so you have to keep up on your inventory you're having to reorder your supplies everything you're using you need that back and it's it goes by so much quicker when you're actually taking four or five clients a day so you have to be prepared for that but that's not what we're here to talk about we're here to talk about um how I set my prices and I also want to get into a little bit of how I schedule my clients um, and I'm sure there's a more efficient way I don't love the way I do it but I'm just gonna tell you guys as a beginner nail tech this is what I'm doing and this is what I'm going through okay so I'm gonna insert a picture of my pricing list right here for you guys and I'm gonna be looking at it on my phone um, let me hold up <laughs> Okay, so how I set my prices, I have three categories. I have a basic full set, I have other services, and then I have nail art. So you can see it all over here. Um, I have my short nails start at $40, my medium nails start at $45, my long start at $50, extra long starts at $55. This is all the basic stuff, but when you get to the nail art, that's where it gets confusing, and that's where I should have elaborated more on my pricing list when I didn't realize I should have. And my prices are low. Now that I look back, I'm definitely ready to raise them, especially you get to other services. My fill being $30, that really hurts me a lot thinking about it because after you gain your clientele and you're getting your repeat clients, these fills is what's sustaining you. Like I do fill so much. My clients are coming back and they just want to fill. They're not getting whole new sets every time. So for me, starting at $30, that's really low. And even my short nail starting at 40, that's low, but I don't have too many clients actually come and get super short nails without a lot of nail art. So, but fills at 30, that's really low. Um, and I am lower than most nail techs in my area, but I'm trying to build my clientele. So that's just what you have to do to get people in and you have to do lots of sales. I did so many sales and I'm going to pop up a couple of my sales that I've done so far, but every major holiday I'm doing a sale. Um, I did a sale for fall. I did a sale for Christmas. I did a sale for Valentine's Day. I did a sale for the new year. I was doing what I could to gain clientele. I'm still not fully booked six months in. I'm still not comfortable with my financial situation, but I am so much happier now that I'm doing what I love. I quit my job and I don't know. I'm overall such so much more happy. I'm such much more of a happy person. I'm not dreading going to work every day. It's I take the leap but be prepared to be in a worse financial situation to be better in the future you have to be prepared to be you have to be prepared to lessen the lifestyle you want for a year to get to where you want to be next year and next year is going to be phenomenal you just have to take that leap and if you keep waiting if you keep pushing it back then you could have already been there so i just suggest to do it um Thankfully, I have a lot of support from my family and everything. I mean, financially, I do it by myself, but 
everybody supports me my community supports me and i'm so blessed and thankful to have that but anyway i'm getting off topic again let's get back to the prices so we have other services i have phil starting at 30 dollars. i'm just looking down at my phone guys but i have phil starting at 30 dollars, and i have soak offs i have soak off with a new set is 10 dollars. and then if you're just getting a soak off alone that'll be 20 dollars. and then a nail repair if it's not my fault it's just four dollars per nail like if you break a nail and you need that fixed with your fill or just coming back to get one nail fixed it's just four dollars but if it's my fault i fix it for free of course okay and then nail art this is where it gets tricky and i do a lot of characters that's something i love to do so i don't have that on here i don't have like characters on here i don't have 3d um like 3d flowers or any 3d things on here i don't have like chunky uh, rhinestones or chunky charms on here so there's a lot of ways i could have elaborated more to give my clients a better idea of what their price is going to be when they come but I have my ombres, $5, and French tips are $5. I would love to make that $10 in the future. I feel like that's a better price point. Just me now realizing how hard French tips are. They're not as easy as I thought when I set this price list. I was new and I didn't know how hard <laughs> and how long it took me, how much it added to the service. So $5 is pretty low for that. But glitter, I think that's a good price for glitter. I'll probably keep glitter at $5. And then I have hand-drawn art, like, per finger. And this is confusing. It doesn't make any sense, I know, to some people. But it's, like, $3. But So what that means is, like, um, I'll insert some pictures. Like, if you have, a, if you want, like, a bunch of hearts on one finger or a smiley face or, like, anything. Anything that I have to paint on by hand. It's not a sticker or anything. But not anything. Like, if it's a character, then that... I set my prices not on here, but the character would be $10 per character because characters are a lot more work. They take a lot more time. So I do $10 per character, but like a simple hand drawn art, simple hearts, line work, anything like that. I like to do $3 per finger. If it's, if it's like all 10 fingers and I usually set a base price, if it's like 10 fingers of line work, then it, I just do ten dollars you know it, instead of doing three dollars per nail um and then i have my cuticle rhinestones for five dollars and a full finger of rhinestones is seven so that's like if you're getting cuticle rhinestones on like all your fingers it'd just be a five dollars added to your set but if you're getting one full finger of rhinestones then it would be um seven dollars per finger that you wanted the full blinged out rhinestones on and now i'm going to insert a couple of sets that i did and help and break down the prices so you guys can understand a little bit more how my prices are set okay so this first one this blue butterfly set this is hand painted everything on this is hand painted and i consider this uh, like a character just because of the detail involved in the butterfly um so the, the set was seventy dollars and how i broke it down this was a full set not a fill this full set was seventy dollars with the length it was fifty dollars the length alone fifty dollars so fifty dollars for the length and then you have the design i i for the two um for the one hand with the two butterflies i just counted that as one piece of nail art so that was ten dollars and then the one butterfly on the ring finger on the opposite hand that was also another ten dollars so it's fifty dollars for the length twenty dollars for the design and that was it so that set was seventy dollars that's how i priced that set in particular and now i'm going to show you guys one more complex kind of it was a fill and how i broke down the prices on that okay so for this set this was a fill and she also had um two nail repairs so she had two she came in with two nails that were broken so i had to fix those give me one second okay guys so for this set it was this was a fill that i did on her this is one of my regulars she came back just for her regular fill but she had two broken this time so the fill starts at $30. So that was the base price. We have $30 for the fill. And then I charged, um, I, I often do this. You, are, you guys are going to see, you're going to see, I, I discount things for my clients because I'm, I don't want to overcharge people and I feel very bad. And that's a bad habit that I have to get out of. I'm often discounting people for services that I should be charging them for. But she had a nail, she had two nails broken and a nail repair. And I felt bad that they broke and I didn't, you know, I hate to see my client's nail break. So instead of charging the $8 for the two nail repair that I should have charged, I just charged $5 for the two nail repairs. So 
Phil started at 30 and then the two nail repairs I discounted. Um, so it was just $5 for her. And then we have the ombre, that's an extra $5. The V-tip, that's an extra $5. The glitter, that's an extra $5. And then the rhinestones was $5. So all in all, 30 plus 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, plus 25, that's $55 that, she, that this fill cost. So this fill in particular, that was $55. Beautiful set. Um, if it was a full set, it would be far more than that, but it was just a fill. So, and this set, this was, this set was featured in my, um, video previously this week, my week in the life of a nail tech. And I'm sure some of you guys were like, wow, that's super cheap for that set. It was amazing. I didn't mention that was a fill, but yep. So it was a fill, $55. I believe she tipped me like 10 or something. So I got 65 from that set. Okay guys, now I just want to get into a little bit of how I built my clientele up a little bit and how I schedule and how I schedule my people. So I personally get the majority of my clientele from Facebook. Um, I live in a small town and we still all use Facebook. I will forever use Facebook. We're not very big Instagram people around here. I do have an Instagram page, of course, as a nail tech. Of course, I have an, um, an Instagram page, but the majority of my clientele comes through Facebook. I do have bookings that come off of Instagram as well, but I'd say about 80% 80, 80 of my clients come off of Facebook. My Facebook page is very popular in my town, and I love that for me. Great. Um, but, and I'm, so I do all, I don't have a booking site. Um, I prefer not to do that because, first of all, <clears throat> I want to talk to my clients I want to know exactly what you're getting and I want you to know the price before you come so there's no surprises. You're not, I don't want you to be shocked about how much your set costs. I don't I don't want that. I don't want there to be any problems. I want to be upfront. I want you to know that it's going to cost XYZ when you get here and it's going to take this amount of time and I want you to schedule your life right because I don't want to have to rush, you know? So that's just the way I do it. I like to do, I like to, I don't have a booking site so I can talk to my clients beforehand so we can get that out of the way and um. So I just do I just do all of my booking through direct message messaging on from my business page, from my Facebook business page, and from my Instagram business page. Um, sometimes my friends and stuff also message my personal page, which I don't have a problem with. My regulars, I have them on Facebook. We're friends on Facebook and everything, so they message my personal page. Also, it does get kind of hard to keep track of trying to um, make sure I'm getting all the messages from three accounts, my Instagram, my business Facebook page, and my personal Facebook page. So that gets to be a lot sometimes. And sometimes I'm very late to answer my clients and I hate when that happens. I feel very bad, but that's something I'm working on. I have considered a booking site, um, but I don't know yet. I think maybe when I'm ready to take deposits, I don't take deposits as of now because I feel so new to this. I don't feel like I'm ready to take deposits. Um, I still get lots of cancellations and reschedulations, but I'm still building my clientele. I'm definitely not at full, so I don't want to start taking deposits just that just yet. So I think maybe when I do that, I might start using a booking site, but I think it'd be very hard for me to navigate it, knowing how long I take for each set and being able to tell my clients the exact price up front. I, it's a lot, I, booking sites are a lot, but it's also a lot to book on your own through messages. So whatever works best for you, that's what you guys should do. So for me, I book most of my clients through Facebook. I do lots of sales to get in new clients and my, lots of my, um, lots of my regulars and my family, my supporters, people, even people who don't get their nails done by me, they share my things so much. I have so much support from my community and it's crazy to me because I was never even really a real social person back in high school or anything so just to have all these people who I was never even really close with support me and tell me they want to see me do great I love that it's amazing so I'm thankful to have that I have people share my posts and that's how I get new clients I have people ref like refer people to me my client my existing clients people like oh I love your nails and they'll tell them well thank you you should check out my nail tag on Instagram or Facebook or or they um they tag me they um mention me on Snapchat so sometimes I get bookings through there it's really all word of mouth so I need to get business cards that's one thing I don't have yet I ordered some but they're still not in I've ordered them so long ago I'm gonna have to order more I don't know what happened but I want to get business cards so I can give them to my clients so they can hand them out for me because just word of mouth gets me so much clientele like my clients from their jobs they work in fast food they work in retail 
you know the word I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> so if they could just, if somebody says they like the nail, they like their my nails, then they can just oh hand them the card. This is my nail tech. You should check her out. She's amazing, and I book a lot just that way. I have so many referrals and. That's really how my clientele has doubled just this month. I've gained so many more clients. So be patient, guys. My first, I'm going to show you guys actually um, my schedule. I have, like I said, I write it all down on paper. So let me just grab that for you guys so you can see how much I've gained in when I really started to gain my clientele. Okay. This is my old planner 2021. Like I said, I started in October. This is my new one for 2022. And this is where I write down all of my, um, it's where I write down all of my clients and all of my schedules. This is where, this is how I write it all down. So I like this one so much because it has the, um, I don't know where I got it. I think I got it from Walmart. I like this one so much because it has the tabs and it's a lot more sturdy than um this one i got this one from fed below and i loved it because it had the evil eyes on it and it was cute and it was blue but it doesn't have tabs or anything it's all paper and i'm pretty bad with paper but whatever i like the plastic tabs in this old one better but it's okay <laughs> so when i say i started in october so october was pretty empty like i said I booked my first on the 6th, and you see I have it there. And then I had, um, so the week I started, I quit my job. I booked my first two clients on October 6th, and then I had one October 7th. And then I didn't have, I had one, that's it for the week, for that week. And then the next week, October 16th on the Saturday, that's when I had my next one. And then I, again, I had one the 17th, but... Then again, I didn't have any for the rest of that week until October 28th. So that means in October, that whole month, I had one, two, three, four, five clients all month. So you can imagine how broke I was at that time. But I was totally prepared for that. I had saved money up until that point. So I could, you know, so I was prepared to be in that financial situation that I was going to be in. And then you can see um, November, I started to do a sale. And you can see right where I did the sale is where my clients started to pick up that week. I got a lot, a lot of clients that week of my first sale, which was great. But the first two weeks of, of November, I didn't have many clients at all. The third week I did the sale, I got lots of clients. And then to move to December, I did another sale. And as you can see, when my sale ended in... Um, when my sale ended in November, I still had um I still had some of my regulars. I had gained some regulars by then. They had come back. So on this day and this day, this day I said a couple. And then I started another sale, and you can see where my clientele started to pick up again. So you're discounting yourself a lot. I was doing sets for I don't even remember, probably like forty dollars, any length, any design. It was forty dollars flat. So I was I was still it was something I was making something versus having no clients and making nothing so me doing that helped me so much I had so many clients these two weeks that I was doing this sale that was amazing so that was December let's move to January so January I guess I I still wasn't you know making as what I what I wanted I had a good stretch of nothing right here no clients and then I started to pick up again I had a good I had clients for a good four days and then I had a three-day stretch no clients and then I had a couple clients couple clients I don't remember if I did a sale in January but it looks like I did Looks like I start to get some traction here. I had some pickup right here. I had more clients. I believe I did. I did a New Year's sale towards January. I did. This is what I remember now. So I did the um, bring a friend fifty dollars each per set. And this at this point I was gaining clientele, so I could afford to not do forty dollars. I went up ten dollars just to give me that extra little bit of profit. So I did um, maybe fifty dollars each per person if you came together. So I can see right here where my clientele started to pick up. I gained a lot of people this week when I started doing that sale. And now we're going to move to February. 
and February has been busy for me. I have had lots of clientele. No, I've had no sales. So really, I say in the last two months, I have doubled, maybe tripled my clients. I have been taking four or five people a day, really, just get in here. I'm, I'm going to squeeze people in whenever they can, whatever schedule, whatever time works best for them. I'm working my ass off. I don't care. I work from home. So if I have to work till midnight, if you want to come, I will put you down. I will do what I can to, as long as I get you in my chair and give you great a great set. And I've had so many people tell me this is the best set, I, best set I've ever had. They're going to, I hope <laughs> they're going to come back to me. Like, I just need you to sit down one time and get you hooked on beautiful looking nails. And then hopefully they come back. So if I can get them in with a sale and then they become a regular off of that sale and then they're willing to pay full price, that's what I'm going to do. And like I said, February, I haven't had any sales and my books have been full. I had two days off this week and one day with no clients this week, but... Like I said, most of these days I worked every day, except I have I did have a dentist appointment, so I took that day off. But I still had people asking to book that day, you know. So and it's tax season right now, so I know people are a little bit more frivolous with their money that they're spending. But like I'm saying, these people are as long as they come in, they're gonna they're gonna want to come back. They're gonna want that fill, or that's what I hope for. But still, I usually don't have people book until week of they don't really like to um i can't get people to schedule their fills still i still have my regulars come back for their fills consistently but they don't like to schedule ahead of time they usually hit me up the same week and they're like hey can you squeeze me in but lately i've had been having to turn a lot of people away like no i actually can't get you in this day this day is already full and i like i said i don't like to do that but if i had five people a day and it's two hour sets then i have to i mean i can't do so many people a, a day so hopefully i do get to that point where people are just scheduling their fills but i'm not there yet and that's why i'm saying i'm not ready to up my prices just yet i need to i want to be at a full clientele before i up my prices so just in case i do lose some people in that and just in case i do lose some people in upping my prices then i can still like have I can still be comfortable you know I'm still comfortable with the amount of money I'm making because I have a full clientele and I have waiting people I have people waiting who want to get in to book with me so that's the goal um I don't think I really have anything else to talk about in this video I probably did forget a couple things but that's how I break down my pricing and I know it's pretty low and I would like it to be higher but I'm gonna stick with it probably for like another six months and I have to say these six months went by super fast. I feel like I'm counting that wrong. Like, that can't be right. I feel like there's no way it's been six months. It feels like two, but um, I'm so grateful to be doing this. I was working, um, I used to work in fast food. So I worked at a Burger King for three years. I worked in the same place before that. I worked um, at a bank. I was a bank teller. That was my first job ever. But before I was a bank teller, I was a babysitter. I'm only 20 years old and I'm super proud of everything that I've accomplished to this point. I graduated in 2018 and I was, that's probably, I think that was about the year I started doing nails. I can't remember, but I never dreamed that this would really become my career. It was just something that I wanted to do for myself because I didn't have a lot of money and I couldn't afford to go get my nails done like all the other girls around and I really wanted that. I wanted my hands to look beautiful. So... I learned to do it myself and at first it was just something to do for me but then I really fell in love with doing nails and I'm so happy that now I can actually do this for other people I'm so happy that this is my job I'm so happy that I don't dread coming to work every day I really love it so I'm really grateful um, if you guys want to see more of my nail journey, please subscribe to my channel please like this video if you have anything else you want to know any other questions leave them in the comments please i really want to grow my youtube as well with my nail career i hope they grow at the same pace at the same rate and i hope they both go very quickly so i'm almost at 200 subscribers but i would really really love to get to 500 so if you're seeing this and you're not subscribed please subscribe if you enjoy this video and please like also it really helps youtube get my video out to more people who might want to see it okay bye guys